2023 NCLEX PN Practice Questions and Answers Question number 1. A client hospitalized with severe depression and suicidal ideation refuses to talk with the nurse. The nurse recognizes that the suicidal client has difficulty expressing feelings of low self-worth. B. Discussing remorse and guilt for actions. C. Displaying dependence on others. D. Expressing anger toward others. The correct answer is D. Expressing anger toward others. Question number 2. A client receiving hydrodiol is instructed to increase her dietary intake of potassium. The best snack for the client requiring increased potassium is A. Pear. B. Apple. C. Orange. D. Banana. The correct answer is D. Banana. Question number 3. The nurse is caring for a client following removal of the thyroid. Immediately post-op, the nurse should A. Maintain the client in a semi-fowler's position with the head and neck supported by pillows. B. Encourage the client to turn her head side to side, to promote drainage of oral secretions. C. Maintain the client in a supine position with sandbags placed on either side of the head and neck. D. Encourage the client to cough and breathe deeply every two hours, with the neck in a flexed position. The correct answer is A. Maintain the client in a semi-fowler's position with the head and neck supported by pillows. Question number 4. A client hospitalized with chronic dyspepsia is diagnosed with gastric cancer. Which of the following is associated with an increased incidence of gastric cancer? A. Dairy products. B. Carbonated beverages. C. Refined sugars. D. Luncheon meats. The correct answer is D. Luncheon meats. Question number 5. A client is sent to the psychiatric unit for forensic evaluation after he is accused of arson. His tentative diagnosis is antisocial personality disorder. In reviewing the client's record, the nurse could expect to find A. A history of consistent employment. B. A below average intelligence. C. A history of cruelty to animals. D. An expression of remorse for his actions. The correct answer is C. A history of cruelty to animals. Question number 6. The licensed practical nurse may not assume the primary care for a client. A. In the fourth stage of labor. B. Two days post-appendectomy. C. With a venous access device. D. With bipolar disorder. The correct answer is C. The LPN may not assume primary care for a client with a venous access device. Question number 7. The physician has ordered dressings with sulfamylon cream for a client with full thickness burns of the hands and arms. Before dressing changes, the nurse should give priority to A. Administering pain medication B. Checking the adequacy of urinary output C. Requesting a daily complete blood count D. Obtaining a blood glucose by finger stick The correct answer is A. Administering pain medication Question number 8. The nurse is teaching a group of parents about gross motor development of the toddler. Which behavior is an example of the normal gross motor skill of a toddler? A. She can pull a toy behind her. B. She can copy a horizontal line. C. She can build a tower of eight blocks. D. She can broad jump. The correct answer is A. She can pull a toy behind her. Question number nine. A client hospitalized with a fractured mandible is to be discharged. Which piece of equipment should be kept on the client with a fractured mandible? A. Wire cutters. B. Oral airway. C. Pliers. D. Tracheostomy set. The correct answer is A. Wire cutters. Question number 10. The nurse is to administer dejoxin, linoxin, elixir to a six-month-old with a congenital heart defect. The nurse auscultates an apical pulse rate of 100. The nurse should A. Record the heart rate and call the physician. B. Record the heart rate and administer the medication. C. Administer the medication and recheck the heart rate in 15 minutes. D. Hold the medication and recheck the heart rate in 30 minutes. The correct answer is B. Record the heart rate and administer the medication. Question number 11. A mother of a 3-year-old hospitalized with lead poisoning asks the nurse to explain the treatment for her daughter. The nurse's explanation is based on the knowledge that lead poisoning is treated with A. Gastric lavage. B. Chelating agents. C. Antiemetics. Deactivated charcoal. The correct answer is B. Chelating agents. Question number 12. An 18 month old is scheduled for a cleft palate repair. The usual type of restraints for the child with a cleft palate repair are A. Elbow restraints. B. Full arm restraints. 
See wrist restraints. D. Mummy restraints. The correct answer is A. Elbow restraints. Question number 13. A client with glaucoma has been prescribed Tim Optic eye drops. Tim Optic should be used with caution in a client with a history of A. Diabetes. B. Gastric ulcers. C. Emphysema. D. Pancreatitis. The correct answer is C. Emphysema. Question number 14. An elderly client who experiences nighttime confusion wanders from her room into the room of another client. The nurse can best help decrease the client's confusion by A. Assigning a nursing assistant to sit with her until she falls asleep. B. Allowing the client to room with another elderly client. C. Administering a bedtime sedative. D. Leaving a night light on during the evening and night shifts. The correct answer is D. Leaving a night light on during the evening and night shifts. Question number 15. Which of the following is a common complaint of the client with end-stage renal failure? A. Itching. B. Weight loss. C. Ringing in the ears. D. Bruising. The correct answer is A. Itching. Question number 16. The physician has discussed the need for medication with the parents of an infant with congenital hypothyroidism. The nurse can reinforce the physician's teaching by telling the parents that A. The medication will be needed only during times of rapid growth. B. The medication will be needed throughout the child's lifetime. C. The medication schedule can be arranged to allow for drug holidays. D. The medication is given one time daily every other day. The correct answer is B. The medication will be needed throughout the child's lifetime. Question number 17. The best diet for the client with Meniere's syndrome is one that is A. High in fiber. B. Low in sodium. C. High in iodine. D. Low in fiber. The correct answer is B. Low in sodium. Question number 18. Which of the following findings is associated with right-sided heart failure? A. Shortness of breath. B. Nocturnal polyuria. C. Daytime oliguria. D. Crackles in the lungs. The correct answer is B. Nocturnal polyuria. Question number 19. An 8-year-old admitted with an upper respiratory infection has an order for continuous oxygen monitoring with a pulse oximeter. To ensure an accurate reading, the nurse should A. Place the probe on the child's abdomen. B. Recalibrate the oximeter at the beginning of each shift. C. Apply the probe and wait 15 minutes before obtaining a reading. D. Place the probe on the child's finger. The correct answer is D. Place the probe on the child's finger. Question number 20. An infant with tetralogy of Fallot is discharged with a prescription for Lenoxin elixir. The nurse should instruct the mother to A. Administer the medication using a nipple. B. Administer the medication using the calibrated dropper in the bottle. C. Administer the medication using a plastic baby spoon. D. Administer the medication in a baby bottle with one ounce of water. The correct answer is B. Administer the medication using the calibrated dropper in the bottle. Question number 21. The client scheduled for electroconvulsive therapy tells the nurse, I'm so afraid. What will happen to me during the treatment? Which of the following statements is most therapeutic for the nurse to make? A. You will be given medicine to relax you during the treatment. B. The treatment will produce a controlled grand mal seizure. C. The treatment might produce nausea and headache. D. You can expect to be sleepy and confused for a time after the treatment. The correct answer is A. You will be given medicine to relax you during the treatment. Question number 22. Which of the following skin lesions is associated with Lyme's disease? A. Bull's eye rash. B. Papular crusts. C. Bully D. Plaques. The correct answer is A. Bull's eye rash. Question number 23. Which of the following snacks would be suitable for the child with gluten-induced enteropathy? A. Soft oatmeal cookie. B. Buttered popcorn. C. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. D. Cheese Pizza. The correct answer is B. Buttered Popcorn. Question number 24. A client with schizophrenia is receiving Thorazine 400 mg twice a day. An adverse side effect of the medication is A. Photosensitivity. B. Elevated temperature. C. Weight gain. D. Elevated blood pressure. The correct answer is B. Elevated temperature. Question number 25. Which information should be given to the client taking Dilantin? A. Taking the medication with meals will increase its effectiveness. B. The medication can cause sleep disturbances. C. More frequent dental appointments will be needed for special gum care. D. The medication decreases the effects of oral contraceptives. 
The correct answer is C. More frequent dental appointments will be needed for special gum care. Question number 26. A client has returned to his room following an esophagoscopy. Before offering fluids, the nurse should give priority to assessing the client's A. Level of consciousness B. Gag reflex C. Urinary output D. Movement of extremities The correct answer is B. Gag reflex. Question number 27. Which instruction should be included in the discharge teaching for the client with cataract surgery? A. Over-the-counter eye drops can be used to treat redness and irritation. B. The eye shield should be worn at night. C. It will be necessary to wear special cataract glasses. D. A prescription for medication to control post-operative pain will be needed. The correct answer is B. The eye shield should be worn at night. Question number 28. An 8-year-old is admitted with drooling, muffled phonation, and a temperature of 102 degrees. The nurse should immediately notify the doctor because the child's symptoms are suggestive of A. Strep throat B. Epiglottitis C. Laryngotracheobronchitis D. Bronchiolitis The correct answer is B. Epiglottitis Question number 29. Phototherapy is ordered for a newborn with physiologic jaundice. The nurse caring for the infant should A. Offer the baby sterile water between feedings of formula. B. Apply an emollient to the baby's skin to prevent drying. C. Wear a gown, gloves, and a mask while caring for the infant. D. Place the baby on enteric isolation. The correct answer is A. Offer the baby sterile water between feedings of formula. Question number 30. A teen hospitalized with anorexia nervosa is now permitted to leave her room and eat in the dining room. Which of the following nursing interventions should be included in the client's plan of care? A. Weighing the client after she eats. B. Having a staff member remain with her for one hour after she eats. C. Placing high-protein foods in the center of the client's plate. D. Providing the client with child-size utensils. The correct answer is B. Having a staff member remain with her for one hour after she eats. Question number 31. According to Erickson's stage of growth and development, the developmental task associated with middle childhood is A. Trust. B. Initiative. C. Independence. D. Industry. The correct answer is D. Industry. Question number 32. The nurse should observe for side effects associated with the use of bronchodilators. A common side effect of bronchodilators is A. Tinnitus. B. Nausea. C. Ataxia. D. Hypotension. The correct answer is B. Nausea. Question number 33. The 5 minute OPGAR score of a baby delivered by C section is recorded as 9. The most likely reason for this score is A. The mottled appearance of the trunk. B. The presence of conjunctival hemorrhages. C. Cyanosis of the hands and feet. D. Respiratory rate of 20 to 28 per minute. The correct answer is C. Cyanosis of the hands and feet. Question number 34. A 5-month-old infant is admitted to the emergency department with a temperature of 103.6 degrees and irritability. The mother states that the child has been restless for the past several hours and that he had a seizure on the way to the hospital. A lumbar puncture confirms a diagnosis of bacterial meningitis. The nurse should assess the infant for A. Periorbital edema B. Tenseness of the anterior fontanelle C. Positive Babinski reflex D. Negative scarf sign the correct answer is B. Tenseness of the anterior fontanelle. Question number 35. A client with a bowel resection and anastomosis returns to his room with a nasogastric tube attached to intermittent suction. Which of the following observations indicates that the nasogastric suction is working properly? A. The client's abdomen is soft. B. The client is able to swallow. C. The client has active bowel sounds. D. The client's abdominal dressing is dry and intact. The correct answer is A. The client's abdomen is soft. Question number 36. The nurse is teaching the client with insulin-dependent diabetes the signs of hypoglycemia. Which of the following signs is associated with hypoglycemia? A. Tremulousness. B. Slow pulse. C. Nausea. D. Flushed skin. The correct answer is A. Tremulousness. Tremors. Question number 37. Which of the following symptoms is associated with exacerbation of multiple sclerosis? A. Anorexia. B. Seizures. C. Diplopia. D. Insomnia. The correct answer is C. Diplopia. 
Question number 38. Which of the following conditions is most likely related to the development of renal calculi? A. Gout. B. Pancreatitis. C. Fractured femur. D. Disc disease. The correct answer is A. Gout. Question number 39. A client with AIDS is admitted for treatment of wasting syndrome. Which of the following dietary modifications can be used to compensate for the limited absorptive capability of the intestinal tract? A. Thoroughly cooking all foods. B. Offering yogurt and buttermilk between meals. C. Forcing fluids. D. Providing small, frequent meals. The correct answer is D. Providing small, frequent meals. Question number 40. The treatment protocol for a client with acute lymphocytic leukemia includes prednisone, methotrexate, and semetidine. The purpose of the semetidine is to A. Decrease the secretion of pancreatic enzymes. B. Enhance the effectiveness of methotrexate. C. Promote peristalsis. D. Prevent a common side effect of prednisone. The correct answer is D. Prevent a common side effect of prednisone. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Florida Training Academy is a nurse-owned training company. Thank you for watching.